Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 5. We're going to be doing a trailer breakdown for Episode 2. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so this trailer has come out. Please be sure to check out my review for Episode 1. That came out a few hours ago from when this is going to post later in the evening. But this is the episode 2 trailer, so this will be next week, obviously on Sunday, at 9pm, so after Batwoman. This trailer is pretty good, and it teases a little bit. doesn't tease too much, but gives us a rough idea of what's happening. So we're going to break it down shot by shot, and also talk about some of the dialogue that goes along with it. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is really interesting, and we know that in episode 2 and 3, there's going to be quite a lot of Malefaic and... You know, the first portion of the season is going to be quite heavy on Jean and Malefaic's relationship. Because, you know, Malefaic was brought to Earth by the Monitor and it's all leading up to Crisis. So, this is a challenge that Jean and everyone is going to have to go through. But obviously mainly Jean because it is his brother in the end when you look at things. Okay, so, yeah, this shot we see a Martian here and obviously they are literally like twins. I do believe maybe their eye colours are different, so in this shot, he's holding a child, a Martian child, and I'm supposing, yeah, this is not Jean, this is Malefaic, and his eyes are initially green, and if you look at the next bit, his eyes fade to red, and so he's maybe reading his mind, but I think he's, you know, he's killing him, essentially. His eyes are changing, and that's sort of like a representation of his evil and so he's killing this kid, so you get the shot of the kid in front of him, and so he's holding his hands on the head. And you can tell by the lighting, this is obviously on Mars, this is how they shoot Mars. Looks really nice, we cut to this wide shot, and the kid's dead. The kid drops to the ground, and you can see all these bodies. There is four bodies on the ground, and I believe there is actually a few in the background, like quite a lot. Like, I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like bodies, so... From this you can infer he was part of the cause for the extinction of some of these Martians. Well, quite a lot of them, as well as obviously the White Martians, which were mentioned in yesterday's episode actually, because Midnight fought alongside them. And so that's why Malefaic got her out of Fort Ras or wherever she was in the Phantom Zone. And yeah, so he's killing all these people. This is going to be a flashback in this episode okay so let's move on to the next shot we got jean and jean is making a face a face of sort of shock and in the voice overlay we hear malefaic actually says once i am able i will tear jean jones apart so this is obviously him maybe talking to himself maybe it's in the flashback or you know it's talking to the monitor or something like that but you know he's not talking to jean and so kara says you didn't even mention having a brother, and so we get this shot like right here with Kara actually saying that to Jean in Jean's, you know, office, and we get this simultaneously with a cut, and we see Jean actually holding his hand out, and his brother's there, and Malefaic is approaching him in his full mushroom robes. Like, this is an amazing shot. I love this, like, how sort of the duality of it, and like how they're so similar, but like so different. So I really, really like that, and I can't wait to see more of Malefaic. And so, yeah, he's approaching him. I don't know if this is actually real or it's in his head, because he's seemingly trying to get into Malefaic's head and, like, actually find where he is. And Malefaic's going to be a massive thing in this episode, obviously, because, you know, this is all about him. And after the revelation at the end of last episode, it's all pointing in that direction. Okay, so moving on to the next shot, we got another shot of Jean in that blue lighting. It's the th same thing, but just more in a medium shot. And then we go to Alex, and this is really interesting. So it's a strange shot because you see Kelly in the background. Alex is sort of making a face, and it's not a normal face, it's kind of a little bit creepy. And it's Alex, Kara says, she's in trouble. And so what I think is happening here, and you can obviously infer it from the trailer, something is up with Alex. But what is up with Alex? I think Malefaic has taken her over. I think Alex is somewhere else, and I think this is Malefaic. So to get at John and, you know, to find out more about him, I think maybe he is posing as Alex. And, you know, similar to, you know, when Alex was taken away back in season one when she was kidnapped, I think Alex is going to be elsewhere. 
and that's where you get all of this and so you get this shot next and it's Supergirl's watch going off and it kind of looks like the clothing for Alex but also it kind of looks like the clothing for Supergirl because it's got the blue and purple and Alex is actually wearing a purple thing so it may be Alex or it may be Supergirl clicking it or it's like Supergirl like looking at her watch so I'm not sure but I don't think Supergirl actually has a watch so it could be Lena because she got one of those last episode but anyway so we get this shot we got Kara and Kara is here she's standing still and she's sort of looking upon and that's when she says Alex is in trouble so she's obviously found out this is one of my favorite shots we get Kara as she's running to fight Alex and so Kelly says in the trailer why are Kara and Alex fighting she has no idea what's going on and I think the only reason why Alex is able to take these hits take Kara running at full speed at her and punching her and you know Kara not holding back is because it's not Alex because it is John so we get this shot right here of Alex she's sort of flicking her hair around she's turning around and she's about to be smacked into smithereens basically and she full-on uses her heat vision at her that tells you yeah it's not fucking Alex because Kara wouldn't do anything like that so she's in her new Supergirl suit she's got new hair looking really really good like we saw in episode one maybe we get the explanation for the haircut i don't know we haven't got that yet kind of um looking for that i don't know because it's a bit weird how like she just changed her haircut and no one has mentioned it but anyway so she's using a heat vision in a very confrontational way it's going directly straight at alex or whoever it is and she's got a mirror so it actually goes back so that's kind of creative and the mirror, I do believe, is from the car next to her. So Alex wouldn't have the power to rip off a mirror. So, yeah, it's probably Malefaic or, you know, another shape-shifting being that Malefaic has got. And so that bounces right back at Kara. And you can see in this shot. And I think Kara's going to go, you know, kind of flying back once she gets hit by it. Because Alex is not obviously getting hit. Maybe she can move it around a bit and, you know, fuck up whoever this Alex is in this shot and so it's in a wide you see the streets and everything like that and so it's kind of empty and you know everyone who's going to be watching is going to be like why the fuck are they fighting and that's why kelly is like why is alex and supergirl fighting because this is dumb like supergirl's like punching her and kneeing her as you see in this shot into the air flying it's mad and so yeah you get this shot right here and she's full on like kneeing her she goes flying back they're using wires obviously and so she's hitting her at full strength which is mad and so you see alex flying like fucking five foot in the air like if that was normal alex she would land and like break her bones and you know the impact of like say i don't know where she hits she might hit like a car or something because there's loads of cars behind but you know she would be broken down she wouldn't be able to do anything if that was real alex so yeah that's about it for the trailer but just talking about last night and supergirl's last episode i really liked it and i'm really looking forward to this episode specifically to do with john and malefaic but also continuing the Kara and lena story but i think it's going to be more heavily on the sibling rivalry that is going to be between obviously Kara and alex which will happen, I think, later in the episode when whoever becomes Alex becomes Alex. And it's going to be heavy to do with flashbacks and, you know, Jean and the revelation that Malefaic is alive. Malefaic is on Earth and he is trying to destroy Jean in one way or another. And so that's going to be heavy in the episode. We know that Team Supergirl all find out that Malefaic is here. We know that from the trailer because Kara talks about Jean having a brother and they never been told that and it seemed like at the end of last episode Jean kind of forgot that he had a brother but yeah anyway so I'm really looking forward to all of that let me know what are you excited for in next week's episode and remember the flash comes back Tuesday night and also Batwoman obviously premiered last night you can check out my review which actually went up back at Comic Con time so around end of July so go check that out because I'm not uploading another one because I did it already, but I should be reviewing Batwoman next week as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
Dicey Room.